Welcome to problem 34 from the January 2015 Algebra Regents exam. So first off, we've got a graph of an inequality, and we need to write the inequality represented by it. So we're going to use the slope y-intercept form of the equation, that's y equals mx plus b, because it's quite easy to find out the slope and the y-intercept right now. Um, looking for the slope, we know it's rise over run, and it looks like it's rising 2 and moving running 1 to the right meaning the slope is 2 over 1, or simply 2. Uh, so that's our m value. It's going to be 2x. And then our b value, that's our y-intercept, and we can see that that is at negative 3. So it'll be 2x minus 3. So that's all for the first step. Okay, next thing we need to do is, on the same set of axes, graph the inequality x plus 2y is less than 4. So to graph that, we're going to need to rewrite it and isolate y by itself. So we'll subtract an x from both sides, and then we'll get uh, 2y is less than negative x plus 4. And then we divide everything by 2, and we would get that y is less than negative 1 half x plus 2. So now we just need to graph this guy. So um, we know our slope is negative 1 half, and our y-intercept is 2. So let's start by plotting that point. 0, 2 is right here. So here's our y-intercept. And then our slope is negative 1 half, meaning we're going to go down 1 and 2 to the right. So down 1, 2 to the right. Down 1, 2 to the right. Okay. So there we go. Now... Um, because it's less than and not equal to, we're not going to draw a solid line, but a uh, dotted line going across. Okay? So anything along that line is not part of the solution set. Now, y is it going to be less than this line, so it's going, we're going to highlight everything below it, because it's less than. Now on to the last part of the question. Uh, the two inequalities graphed on the set of axes form a system. Oscar thinks that the, thinks that the point 2, 1 is in the solution set. So let's take a look at this graphically. The point 2, 1 is... Here, let me change to a different color. So 2, 1 is right here. Um, determine and state whether you agree with Oscar. Well, here's the problem. As we were just talking about, to satisfy this inequality, y needed to be... Uh, the point needed to be underneath this dotted line, not on it. If it was less than or equal to, then that would be no problem. But um, it just doesn't work. And we can we can also prove that. So we could say no. Oscar is wrong. And we could prove it by um, taking the x and y values of 2 and 1 and then plugging them into here, and we'll watch what happens. So we'd say 1 is less than negative 1 half times x, which is 2, plus 2. And this would become negative uh, 1 plus 2, which is 1. But 1 is not less than 1, right? So that proves that this is uh, not part of the solution set. Oh, uh, one more thing. I just realized I've made a little mistake up, up here. Um, because this is an inequality, um, it's y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 3. My apologies. And that's because um, it's you can see what's highlighted here is above that line. So And it includes it because it's a solid line. So it's y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 3. So that's for part A. Part B we did. And part 3 we've got done. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.